Welcome to Professor Max Trinity's Trickle Up Global Economics, Part 2. The 250 Boy Club. The economy is a human system. Human systems always have underlying priorities. The human we forms global systems by consciously or unconsciously agreeing on priorities. Humans are naturally moved to do what's important. So we have to ask ourselves, what is the priority of the current economic system of Earth? Profits. The bottom line. Using money to grow more money. These are the obvious priorities of the current economic system. Do you remember ever agreeing to these priorities? I mean, really. Do we all really think and believe that profiteering is the most important thing a human economic system should accomplish? Let's think in a new way for a minute. What if the priority of our economic system was to first meet all human needs? All humans need a home, without exception. What is a home? Is a home just walls and windows and floors and ceilings? Is a home just a shelter from the elements? Not for humans. We're not just physical beings, we're psychological and spiritual beings as well. Our new thinking tells us that humans not only have the need for physical shelter, we also have psychological and spiritual needs for the security and sanctuary of a home. For humans, a home isn't just a shelter for the physical body. Home is our private space our personal sanctuary where we gather in circles of intimacy and have a space to practice our daily way of life. It's our personal surround to decorate with our own art, to play our favorite music, and to practice our meditations and prayers. Our home is our personal church, our place for personal reflection, for communions, revivals, and gatherings for service and experiences of love and relationship. Our home is our personal church, our private sanctuary where our most sacred moments of life take place. Our home is our holy ground. By participating in profiteering, we've turned our holy ground into investment fodder and traded psychological security and spiritual sanctuary for the destruction and suffering of materialism and greed. The economic priority of providing homes for all humans serves basic human physical, psychological, and spiritual needs and provides real stability for the whole human we. If we the people agree that it's more important for all humans to have homes than it is for some humans to have endless profits, then there's a way to show that we agree by using the power of mass boycott. We simply make a sign that reads 250 boycott. We put the sign in a window of our home that faces the street or on a door or anywhere it's going to get seen the most to show that we agree that all humans need a home. What is this 250 boycott? What does it mean? It's a trickle-up economics device. It's a message from the masses that we the people are going to stop paying rents and mortgages for our homes and we're going to phase out the old way by first dropping our home rents and mortgages to $250 a month and then to zero. 
First, we'll start by just putting signs in our windows. We'll watch to see if the signs start to multiply and show up on doors and in windows everywhere. We'll just watch and see if 250 boycott starts to show up on bumper stickers and billboards. And when the symbol of 250 boycott becomes a household word, we'll know it. We'll see it. And then we'll get on the internet and set a date. In the United States, we'll aim for our upcoming Independence Day. And on that 4th of July, we'll all drop our rents and mortgages to $250 a month. We'll make it known to each other that no one, without exception, is paying more than $250 a month for their home. Boycotting home rents and mortgages worldwide will give the most humans the greatest relief. The positive impact will trickle up to the topmost money makers. We need not worry about the millionaire bankers nor even the millions of realtors and agents who've made their money buying and selling houses. They are humans too and they will have the same benefit of only paying $250 a month and ultimately zero rents and mortgages for their homes no matter where they live. And in one year from that first Independence Day, we'll all join together in the true liberty and prosperity of having a home that can never be taken away from us, that can't be mortgaged or taxed or repossessed, a home that is absolute bedrock security when devastating times such as these come. We'll stand together in a new system that makes the sanctuary of a human home the top priority and will inject a true sense of global security into the whole human community. Let's start this peaceful revolution. Let's take our lives into our own hands and let each other know that we all agree all humans need a home without exception. Don't change your payments now. Just put 250 boycott signs in your windows. And when someone asks you, what does 250 boycott mean, tell them. Tell them it means that human sanctuary is not a product. It means that you agree that all humans need a home and that you're on board for the new economy based on that priority. Your 250 boycott sign is your personal vote for the new economy, one that meets the needs of all the people. Start imagining every human having a home. I mean, really imagine it. Make a 250 boycott sign and put it in your window. It's legal, it's peaceful, and with it, we can show the whole world what's most important to all of us in a global economic system. Watch for part three of Professor Max Trinity's Trickle Up Global Economics and join the 250 boycott. Peace to you, my friends, till we meet again.